Hi, welcome to the uh, Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, this time we're going to talk about the uh, Ruckus IoT controller, the Internet of Things strategy. Um, and in previous uh, videos, we looked at uh, you know how to install the controller, uh, how to add the APs um, into the controller, and so this time we're going to talk about adding Zigbee devices into uh, into your controller. So let's see how that goes. Um, so look at the dashboard of our controller here. Um, so it's showing that I have two APs, uh, but no devices, right? So if I look on the IoT device tab, there's no devices available in the tab. And if I look in the AP, um, there is one device that's been approved and one AP that's sitting in unapproved mode at this point. So we're just going to worry about the one that's been approved. Um, which happens to be an H510 with the uh, with the the IoT module in it, of course. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, and what we need to do is we've already approved it. We need to set its mode to Zigbee, right? Because we're going to add a, a, a Zigbee device. Now you can choose Zigbee or BLE or Zigbee AA uh, for uh, specific purposes only, but general Zigbee is just going to be the first one here. Um, you can't run both modes at the same time, right? Uh, however, you don't need to run um, an IoT module on every access point. So you could just run it on, you know, run one AP on BLE and one on Zigbee if you needed to cover both in a in a um, in a certain geography. So we're going to choose Zigbee here, and we're going to apply that. And uh, so we can close that. That's all we need to do here. Um, and so its protocol is going to be listed as Zigbee. It's going to have a channel here. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to scan for devices. So if we click scan here, now you're, you're sorry, I need to restart the IoT service. Um, and once that's done, then um, then I should be able to scan. So see, it's gone off low, uh, offline. Um, so in a few seconds, it'll come back online in uh, in Zigbee mode. So basically, it resets the IoT module uh, for whatever protocol you want to run. So it's back online here. Uh, so now we need to do a scan. And uh, in order for the scan to work, of course, your your Zigbee devices have to be in pairing mode, right? So each device works in a different way. Um, so what we see here, I have one uh, which is a an Osram light switch, um, a light strip, I should say, and I also have one showing up here that's a bulb. So you can give them names. Usually they don't show up with a name on them. Um, so we'll give this one, you know, office bulb. And the other one we'll call office uh, light strip. Okay, um, we'll accept those. And then we can stop scanning at this point. Okay, so scanning stopped, get rid of this. And so now if I go under IoT devices here, I'm going to see the two that I just added, Office Bulb and Office Light Stripper here. Here's their MAC address. Here's their, um, uh, the, this is the device MAC. This is the AP MAC, right? So these are the APs that I've learned it on. Protocol Zigbee in both cases. Uh, they're both lights. You could see other things there, um, um, such as a smart plug uh, or other things. Uh, when it was last seen, you can remove it, you can blacklist it, etc. So how we control it now is this is without a Zigbee hub, right? So we become the Zigbee hub in this in this situation. Uh, so the benefit, of course, is rather than having to put a Zigbee hubs all over your building or um, you know all over multiple buildings, basically the the IoT controller and the AP becomes that Zigbee hub. So we can click on these guys and it's going to pull up this side menu here and so this is a fully color changing light right so we can we can switch that light on or off uh, so we could say off apply on apply so it's turning that light on and off you can't see it obviously but it is doing it you can adjust its brightness um, to some level 
and apply that. Uh, you can also change its color. So basically, you know, these devices will do, I don't know, 16 million colors, I think. So you can choose any color you want and apply it, and it will uh, change the color of that device in, in real time. Um, so we'll make that red for fun. Um, okay, and so so that's this bulb. And then, you know, if I click on the light strip here, I have basically the same options, right? So this is a uh, this is an LED Osram LED light switch. So I can turn on, turn it off, change its color, change its brightness, and it will it will um, uh, the information you can set depends on the type of bulb, right? So if it was just a white only bulb, then you'd be able to uh, to change the brightness, but obviously you wouldn't have the select color here. And if it was a smart plug, um, you wouldn't have any color or brightness selection. Obviously, you just have the state of on or off. So, um, so that's pretty easy. Um, so those devices are ready to go. And um, next time I will show you how to add in uh, BLE devices such as a, uh, a tracker or, um, or a tile or something of that nature. But that's it for today. Um, thanks for joining and have a great day. Take care.